Welcome to Child Development. I'm the subject leader, Mrs. Laslett, head of department here at Shambrook, and have been teaching the subject for 16 years here. We have a small department with just two dedicated, enthusiastic members of staff who have worked hard to make the subject the success it is today. I therefore thank you for watching and welcome you to the subject of child development. So this is not a new course at Sharnbrook, uh, OCR Nationals, Level 1 and 2, Certificate in Child Development. We've been successfully running this for four years now in its current form and it's equivalent to a GCSE, but the grades you'll receive will be different. They're measured as past merits and distinctions. It is a GCSE equivalent and so will lead you into uh, your college placements, it will lead you into six forms, it will help you into uh, apprenticeship routes. It provides a foundation for progression into our Cambridge Technicals in health and social care in Key Stage 5, so the sixth form, or into other Level 3 vocational courses, A-level courses, apprenticeships. The course is not just looking after babies. In fact, it's very theoretical, links to many other studies so by students, including biology, PSHE, sociology, psychology, lends itself to many professions and other academic subjects. For students who wish to develop applied knowledge and practical skills in child development, it will prepare students for further qualifications in child health. So what will I learn? That's what you want to know as students. It's divided into three different sections. The first is an examination, which you'll take at the end of year 11. We call it R018 and is worth 50% of your grade. Okay, so that will be at the end of year 11. The other two units, R019 and R020, are both practical written pieces of coursework. These you will be able to do in school. You'll be given computer time but you'll also be able to do them at home. So let's take a closer look at these units then. R018, Health and Wellbeing for the Child Development. As I said, it is the examination unit. Uh, you'll understand reproduction, the roles and responsibilities of parenthood, understand antenatal care, understand most medical checks, understand how to recognise, manage um, childhood illnesses, and know about child safety. Becoming a parent is one of life's major experiences. It's also one of life's major responsibilities. And this is the very practical element of children and how children are looked after in terms of their health and safety, how you will deal with illnesses, how you will deal with online issues, technology, how you look at behaviour and how routines are important, as well as the biological science behind reproduction. The exam, as I said before, will be taken at year 11. It's an hour and 15 minutes. And again, I reiterate, it's 50% of your grade. You'll be able to see a couple of examples of questions. Some of them are short answer questions, some of them relate to scenarios, as you can see. Others are longer answers, essay type questions, but we will practice these and work on those while we're in school. The first unit you'll be looking at, R019, looks at understand the equipment and nutritional needs of children from birth to five years. Whenever we work in child development, we just work up to the age of five. We work to a scenario which is given to us by the exam board and an example is, is given in this presentation. And we look at how we choose equipment for children birth to 12 months and then look at choosing equipment for one to five years. We look at nutrition guidelines and requirements for children and we have some practical and theoretical investigations into looking at feeding solutions again from children birth to five years the last piece of coursework ro20 understand the development of a child from birth to five years children learn through play um i think we all learn through play even as we get older we still learn through doing and from experiencing 
uh, practical activities. This unit looks to understand how the physical, intellectual, social development norms occur in children, how they benefit from this through learning through play. Students will be asked to plan different activities for a chosen development area with a child of their choosing and to carry out and evaluate what they see, what they observe. Again, working to a scenario, the children seem to enjoy this. This is um, a practical person that they have chosen. They might choose to do some physical activities. So I've seen students do scavenger hunts with the child that they are working with. I've seen them do football. I've seen them take them swimming, baking cakes. They've grown crests. They've made puppets. But each of these activities, the child, the, the student actually gets to choose themselves. We're also lucky enough in school to have five virtual baby simulators, which students can take home for the weekend. Whilst it's not a central part of the course, it does give students a taste, if only for a short time, about the time, energy and commitment it takes to looking after a newborn. Unfortunately, we won't be able to send these out until COVID has been lifted, but it's something that the students really enjoy and also get a lot out of. So I'd ask yourself, are you suitable for this course? Have you an interest in human biology, social development, nutrition? If yes, then this is the course for you. Do you understand that the course is theory-based with a high degree of written work required? Do you want to work with children in any aspect in the future? Can you work independently and keep to deadlines? Have you access to a child between six months to five years to complete your case study? Not a sibling, preferably, but we will, uh, if that's the only child you have sort of access to, then a sibling is fine. Everyone wants to know, where can it take me? Where can child de development take me? Um, nursing, for example, teaching, paediatrician, being a nanny, a midwife, nursery schools teacher, social worker, health visitor. The course has practical demonstrations, hands-on experience of working with children. We give you visiting speakers and real-life scenarios to work to. Students get lots of opportunities and experiences, which is a great preparation for further study and workplace. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with me via email or students can find me in my room, Mrs. Laslett, SS4. Thank you very much for listening.